enjoyed the hell out of it. I, I had a great time on Red Dawn. Honestly, when people ask me what's the best time you ever had on a movie, I say Red Dawn every time. For me, it was a, a story about brothers and friends and, and family. And, um, you know, I've got two brothers, so it was sort of a, you know, something that I could you know, draw from in that experience. You know, when you're 18, trying to just, you know, get your feet wet, it was screw politics, you know? Let's go kill some Russians. RPG. Well, what made me want to do Red Dawn? I mean, we, I grew up as a child living Red Dawn, you know? I mean, I was leaping out of spider holes, mowing down Ruskies at the age of eight. Like a Molotov cocktail, Red Dawn exploded across the theater landscape in the summer of 1984 to mixed reviews, political dissection, and thunderous box office. Told in brutally kinetic and visceral fashion, it captured the imaginations of conservatives and liberals, and young and old, with its intriguing premise of a collapsed NATO alliance and communist insurgency south of the border, which leaves the United States vulnerable to a mainland invasion by the then Soviet Union. Patterned after the partisan rebellions of World War II and Afghanistan during the 1980s, in Red Dawn, a small band of high schoolers joined together to form a guerrilla unit dedicated to repelling the invaders. And like I do on all my films, where there are guns involved, whenever you're dealing with guns, guns are very dangerous. So it's good to put the actors through a lot of training with, with the weapons, and then also train them to such a degree that you can train them live fire, where they actually shoot real guns. You know, the, the real guns at real targets and actually move in formation that way because they're not going to make mistakes with guns after that. Well, they had a screenplay by Kevin Reynolds called Ten Soldiers, I think. They called me up and they said, you're the guy that we want to have do this, you know, that I'm, I'm the guy you call up for an invasion of the United States, you know, so. New Red Dawn was officially announced at the 2008 Cannes Film Festival, and in updating the now classic narrative, screenwriters Carl Ellsworth and Jeremy Passmore would integrate into its plot cyber warfare, an electromagnetic pulse weapon used to cripple America's power grid, and contemporary GPS technology. But as the Soviet Union of 1984 no longer existed, the invading force would be one from China, backed by a hardline Russia and repossessing the United States after it defaults on multi-billions of dollars in loans. Noted second unit coordinator Dan Bradley, responsible for the action sequences in films such as Independence Day, The Bourne series, Quantum of Solace, and Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, would make his feature directorial debut with the new Red Dawn, bringing an unsettling documentary-like immediacy. After the film's completion, Wanting to remain contemporary, re-editing, CGI, and altered dialogue would change the original Chinese invasion force into one from North Korea. The rest of you are going to have a tougher choice because we're not going to sell it to you. It's too ugly for that. 
But when you're fighting in your own backyard, when you're fighting for your family, it all hurts a little less. It makes a little more sense. Because for them, this is just a place. But for us, this is our home.